Hello everyone, I was the Jewish Week Online. We're here at the Jewish Funk Team and we are checking out different foods for Passover. And as you can see, I have my matzo pizza right here. Mm. And um, on Passover you have different options to make your matzo pizza. You can take matzo, lay down your cheddar cheese or mozzarella cheese and sauce, put in the oven for about 15-20 minutes and good to go. Other ways you can do it is you can take some potatoes and mash it up and make sort of like your own dough uh, with your uh, potatoes uh, as your base. And we're gonna learn how you make sushi on Passover. Let's take a look. Slip. During Passover, people want something different. They, just, they love their sushi. And um, you d have done some interesting things uh, to make sushi lovers able to eat their favorite uh, types of sushi. To talk a little bit about what you're doing. Uh, well, you know, Passover is very hard. You can't use rice, or a, a lot of uh, a lot of grains are forbidden. Uh, in, in place, uh, we use uh, couscous. We cook it, you roll it inside. We can't do the inside-out rolls, but uh, using traditional Japanese techniques mixed with uh, a little bit of our uh, Passover spin, we're able to produce a very nice product. So, tell us, can you show us how, how do you do it? Oh, can you give you an example. Take some, uh, start with some nori. Put a little uh, ginger vinegar on it, which we make. It's also our rice vinegar. Spread some couscous down. Add your favorite ingredients, say cucumber. And there's other vegetables that you would you would add? Oh, we have uh, you could add anything you like. We have carrots, jicama, which is a uh, local root. Putting a little Mexican spin. Yeah, it's very nice and crunchy and refreshing. Oh, this is a riot. Matzo. Matzo park. These are just some of the things you can do with matzo. Take any avocado sushi that's not up for today. Of course. Not a problem. And it's so easy. Is uh, it? It, we make it look easy. Okay. Here. And, uh, and what type of um, is that special kosher? The Pesach seaweed or uh, the seaweed's kosher for Pesach, and all year round we get it from Israel, so mm -hmm. they already uh, have that taken care of. There you go. A little more delicate than your traditional sushi, but still delicious. What's what's some of your favorite Passover food? Oh, uh, meat, <laughs> <laughs> steaks, chicken, anything that doesn't require matzah. So we're doing a taste test now. We got the sushi. Very good. Um, oh, during Passover. You have to adapt. It's not going to taste exactly like a food, but having a unique sushi like this definitely can enhance your passive experience. This is Aaron Herman. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.